Hey everyone, it's good to see you all again today. Welcome back to a brand new episode of Stardew Valley for the PC. In today's episode, we are going to start off by watching the TV. It seems like it's raining. That's so cool. Wait, I mean, I clicked on the window. Okay, whatever. Weather report. Here we go. Welcome to Kozu 5. Yep, we know what this is. Weather forecast. It's going to be clear and sunny all day. Cool. Okay, what about the fortune teller? Welcome. Uh, the only show with the voice of the spirits is channeled directly to you. The spirits are in good humor today. I think you'll have a little extra luck. Oh, how wonderful. Sounds good for me then. Ooh. Look at this rain. This is perfect. I don't have to water my plants uh, today. Let's have a look at what's going on here. Advertisement. I keep finding cool stuff, but my backpack is full. Does this sound like you? Well, Pierre's got you covered. Stop by Pierre's general store today and check out our affordable size 24 backpack. See you soon. I guess that appears if you get a full backpack at some point, so that's cool. Wild horse radish. Cool. How utterly useless. I don't need that. Let's just put it in here. Let's put all the sap and acorns and fiber and junk in there. And we'll sort it out and we'll sort this one out too. Alright, seems good to me. I really like how this farm is turning out so far. I think what I'm going to be doing today is I'm going to be setting up torches because a long time viewer... Uh, known as Nevea said, I don't know if your character needs to sleep or not. I'm paraphrasing here, sorry, forgive me, I don't have the comment pulled up. Uh, but she says, I don't know if your character needs sleep or not, but um, I advise putting torches uh, like around your farm and you can just farm at night and then introduce yourself during the day. So, yeah, I guess we'll do that. Our character does need to sleep, but there's a long period of nighttime, so... It's, it works out for me. It's pretty decent, so we might do that. I'm not sure what it takes to make torches, though. We need sap. Okay, we need the thing we just got rid of, so let's grab this. I want to know, actually, I never used, uh, where is it? There we go. I never, ever used torches in my first playthrough, so I don't know how they work, honestly. Can I put them on here? No, I can't. Oh, they just go on the ground. Oh, that's a little bit of a bummer. Ah, oh, it looks so dumb. Oh, it's so sad looking. Yeah, you can't even put them anywhere. Okay, well, I'm gonna get rid of them. Maybe we'll find another use for them because, ugh, they look so bad. Uh, no worries though. I guess we could put a torch here and then there as well, uh, just so we can light up this area. And then we'll put one here and here. There you go. Okay, cool. So that'll be lit up if we ever have a super late night. Anyway. Let's have a look at our relationships, and let's see who we have to meet uh, now. We need to meet this guy, and this guy, and this guy. Ooh, spooky. And then this girl. I know where this girl lives. I know where all of them live, uh, just to be clear. But I know where this girl lives. She lives down here at Marnie's Ranch. So if you're smart, you'll probably assume that her name is Marnie and you'd be cracked. <laughs> if not, then I guess you just didn't think about it, so no worries. Um, so yeah, we're gonna head over there. We'll check out her animal prices as well because she sells animals there, which is really cool and very helpful. Um, hopefully they're not too expensive because I would love to buy an animal. But before you buy an animal, of course you need somewhere to put it. You can't just have it roaming around your farm like this, like what these guys are doing. You need a barn. So, we're gonna be messing with a barn. Hello, Marnie! It's good to meet you! What's up? Ah, oh, man, Lewis told me you just arrived. I'm Marnie! Hello, Marnie. I sell livestock and animal care products at my ranch. You should swing by sometime. Yeah, I am by. I'm right here right now, in fact. What do you sell? You sell hay. This is what you get from uh, grass, which is what I talked about in the first episode, or the second episode, I can't remember. But you don't want to cut all the grass on your field, all of the, like, bundled grass. The grass is, that is just on its own, that's totally fine. Uh, but she also sells a heater, a milk pail, and shears. I've never gotten any of these before. Interesting. We might have to buy some of these at some point. Uh, purchase animals. I can't purchase any. Requires construction of a coop, barn, big barn, deluxe coop, deluxe barn, big coop, deluxe barn. Oh my god. We're gonna have to get busy, aren't we? Hey, I wonder what this door is. I've never seen this door before. What is it? It's locked. Oh, okay. Fair enough. Is there anything in the trash? Mostly empty pizza cartons? Oh no! Is that all she eats? I can't interact with this. 
Looks like someone was chopping vegetables but never finished. Yeah, because they they got pizza. I mean, priorities, man. If I had pizza, I wouldn't care about vegetables. Let's just eat pizza. <laughs> anyway, uh, remember, in the last episode, we got a letter from a guy named Willy who said he wants to show us something. So we're going to do that right now. Even though it's raining, uh, hopefully it's cool for him. Hopefully he doesn't mind being met on such a gloomy day. Hey, it's me, Lewis. What's up, big guy? So, how was your first night in the old cottage? It was pretty good. I mean, that's my third day today. Your grandpa used to complain about the rickety old bed, but I think deep down he actually loved that house. Ah, how sweet. It was nice seeing you, dude. I'll catch you later. I got someone to meet. Ah, oh, this is so dramatic. Ahoy there, son. Heard there was a newcomer in town. Good to finally meet ya. Ah, I'm still trying to unwind from a month out on the salty seas. It was a big haul. I sold a lot of good fish. Finally saved enough to buy me a new rod. That's great to hear. Here, I want you to have my old fishing rod. It's important to me that the art of fishing sorry, stays alive. And hey, maybe you'll buy something from the shop once in a while. For sure, man. Wow, thank you so much. You received a bamboo pole. He's helping out like a, a new guy. This is so nice of him. There's good water here in the valley. All kinds of fish. Oh yeah, my shop's back open now, so come by if you need supplies. I'll also buy anything you catch. If it smells, it sells. <laughs> That's what my old pappy used to say anyway. It was such a pleasure talking to you. He gave us his fishing rod. He wanted to help out the new guy in town. I like that a lot. Let's go and check out his store and then we'll do some fishing, shall we? Hello, Willie. I've actually got to meet you first, so... Boop, there you go. Ahoy there. It's nice to see young folk moving into the valley. It's not very common these days. Oh, and he doesn't say anything else. Can I buy stuff from here? No, I gotta be in front. Okay, ba -da -ba -da -ba -ba. you sell trout soup and bamboo pole. Okay, I care about none of those things, but if you capture fish, then it's then he'll buy them from you. What's this? Miniature model of a, fr a frigate? Okay, a frigate. Cool, what about this? No, 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 this. It's a tackle box. It's full of lures, bobbers, hooks, and fishing line. Oh, that's so cute. What is all this stuff? Well, it's a bin full of writhing, wriggling worms. It smells something awful. What about these ones? There's little pink shrimp, shrimping moving around in there. There's little pink shrimping moving around in there. Okay, chum bucket. There's little pink shrimping? What is a shrimping? I guess that's some sort of fishing term I don't know much about. Anyway, let's try out some fishing, shall we? You don't need bait, but it does make it a lot easier. I don't know why I came all the way over here, but whatever. Well, there you go. It makes it a lot easier and quicker to capture fish if you have bait attached to this. Unfortunately, you can't attach bait to this bamboo pole, but you can upgrade your fishing rod later uh, by buying a new one, I mean. And then you're able to put bait in it. So once the time comes for that... Oh, here we go. Once the time comes for that, you'll be able to fish much faster and much easier, too. As you can see, this is a little bit difficult. You just got to keep the bar on the fish in order to capture it and the bar is very small if you have a beginner's pole so a bit of a bummer but we're just gonna have to wait until we get something better so let's just wait here I'm gonna capture one more fish there we go oh we got some seaweed great it can be used in cooking can I eat it no I threw it out by accident oh well uh, so, by the way, you can eat food to raise your energy gauge here. If you don't know how Star... Star Brown, sorry. Star Do Valley works. I can't pick that up. If you don't know how this game works, uh, you have this energy bar. So you can only do limited amount of things uh, each day. So, by eating, you can raise that, which is very helpful. Boop, there you go. Um, but yeah, I wonder who else we've got to meet. Oh, this is a higher quality one, I think. If we just throw those away. Nope, nope, nope. Throw those away. Quickly pick that up. There you go. We got a high quality clam. That's so cool. Oh, what the heck is this? What's all this then? Hmm, with 300 pieces of wood, this could be fixed. 
Okay, I guess I'll do that eventually. Um, hey, who's this guy? Yo, dude, how's it going? Have we met this guy? What am I gonna do today? I don't know. Probably nothing. That's all you gotta say to me? You're such a jerk. Well, anyway, uh, the person who lives here, his name is Elliot, and I've been kinda stalling, waiting for him to come out, but I guess he's somewhere else, I'm not sure. I have no idea where he usually hangs out. Uh, so, we're just gonna have to wait, I suppose. Hopefully he turns up. Maybe we won't be able to do all the introductions today. Hopefully we do, though. Hopefully we're able to. I don't know why I came in here, my apologies. Ooh, the sound went out for some reason. Uh, anyway, let's see here. Closed on Wednesdays. Aw, oh, man, what a bummer! That reminds me, I don't have my music turned up. Let's have a look here. Music, music, music. I don't know if music even plays when it's raining, but if it does, my bad, we haven't been able to hear it. Let's go to social really quick. Let's see who else we're missing. Just Elliot and a wizard guy. Okay, I guess... I guess I'll go and wait for Elliot. I don't know if I'll cut it out or not. I might be able to. I wonder if he likes clams. Just to make it clear, by the way, I have no idea what everyone likes. I know that... Uh, what's her name? Starts with an E, perhaps? I don't know. The red-headed girl? She's just down here. Uh, bu 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 Nope. This girl, Leia. I know that she likes foraged items, and, uh, I know that, uh, who is the hobo, hobo guy? I know the hobo go guy, Lonus. Linus? Why can't I say my eyes right today? Uh, I know that Linus also likes forged stuff. Just any food, really. Uh, so, that's all I know, to be honest. I assume since Elliot lives here on a beach, he likely enjoys this sort of beach stuff. Uh, unless he's, like, really weird. It's locked. Only Elliot's friends can enter. Oh my gosh. So, it's been about 13 minutes. I don't think I should wait. I guess we'll come back here at another time. Maybe, like, 4 or 5 tomorrow. Uh, maybe he doesn't even come out when it rains. Who knows? Uh, but yeah, we're gonna head back up to our farm, and I'll see you in a moment. Okay, everyone, I'm back. Sorry, I was just putting things in my chest here. I'm not really sure what to do with the rest of my day. Uh, I guess we could go talk to other people, but we're already back at our farm, so I think I'm just gonna do some foraging. This is the grass I was talking about earlier, by the way, just this cuttable grass. You don't want to cut it, so don't do that. Don't be stupid like me. Um, but yeah, I guess I'll just cut down some trees, forage a little bit, and hopefully get enough materials to continue building on our farm. I'm not sure how far the fence below us is going to go. Probably not very far, to be honest. Can I not pick that up? There you go. Um, but yeah, I don't want to bring this farm, or fence rather, all the way over here, like across it. I think I want to keep this part open. Uh, but I will bring it down here, methinks. So, here we go. Let's craft a bunch of these. Perfect. And, let's see. Where is it? It's right there. So we'll do that. And then, this? Do I want it like that? No, something seems bizarre about it. No, okay. You know, I like that. Okay. I sort of wanted it to be, like... I know I'm wasting energy here. Apologies. I sort of wanted it to be from from there, but I think, I don't think that looks very good, or maybe it does, ah crap, I have no idea, you know what, let's try it, so, I know I'm being all picky and stuff, but we'll have a look, we do save wood by doing it this way, uh, you know, I kind of like it, okay, there you go, we'll do it like that, and then we'll bring it across here as well, we gotta cut down another tree, uh, here's one, just break that, and come on, there you go. I can't wait until I upgrade everything. This takes so long. Like, way too long. Oh, I just noticed they've added another type of tree, I think? I'm not sure. Like, this one's a little bit more sickly than this one right here. I didn't realize there were trees like that. Maybe it's been that way all this time, and I just haven't noticed that there have been three different types of trees all this time. Anyway, there's eight. I think that's more than enough. Boop. Perfect. Okay. Seems pretty good. I actually quite like the way this looks. And we'll break this as well. And we'll cut all this grass here. Uh, wait, is this a rock? Yep, it sure is. 
Okay, keep on breaking. Just keep on breaking stuff. Brilliant. I think we're making good headway with this farm here. I know this is such a little detail, but, you know, whatever. I like it. I think it looks nice. Uh, we could actually put, like, flowers in here or something if we're able to do that. I'm not sure the limitations of this game. But anyway, uh, now I want to do this. We'll bring it all the way over here, and boop. There you go. And we'll start off a square of these. Wait, hmm. Do I like it? Do I want it to start there? Or should I bring it over one more? I think I'll bring it over just one more. I'm trying to give myself a lot of space for this farm here. So, you know what? Let's, uh, let's get rid of that. And let's put it right there. There you go. And it can come down here. I think that's good enough. We're doing pretty well. This is going to be a huge farming area for us. I can't wait. I should also get rid of this stuff. Uh, get rid of this as well. Boop, there you go. I am probably going to put a fence going across here, and then we'll have, like, a gate going through here, just to section it off, I suppose. So, I'll show you what I mean. Um, boop, boop, boop. If I didn't make it painfully clear already. So, there you go. Like, we'll just do that, and then we'll go over a little more. And then we'll continue there, you know? Sounds good? I think that sounds good. We should also put a fence, obviously. But anyway, that's gonna do it for today's episode, I think. Uh, let's grab this fish. There it is, sardine. And we'll also grab this clam. And this clam. And we'll throw them in the shipping box, and we'll see how much money we get for them. And then I'll catch you guys in the next episode. So let's get some sleep. Oh cool, I got level 1 foraging. We get plus 1 axe proficiency, trees sometimes drop seeds, new crafting recipe wild seeds, and new crafting recipe field snack. Oh, very nice. And here's all the money that we got. We got 225 bucks. Awesome. Oh, there's a cute little house right there. Anyway, that's gonna do it, everyone. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. Catch you guys later. Peace out.